Hello friends, welcome back to our system design series. In the last video, we discussed that what system design is. Today, we are going to talk about that why system design matters. We are also going to see that the decisions taken during the system design phase, uh, how can it actually impact the application or software in the long run? And what are the implications of a good system design and a bad system design with some examples. So I hope you find this video useful. Now you all know that what system design is. Now we are going to see that why system design matters. In order to understand that, we will have to first identify that what typical impact does the system design generate for your uh, application or, or for your system. So to understand the impact, let's do it with an example. Suppose you are the next Jeff Bezos in, in the world and you have create, uh, currently created your own version of the Amazon website. That is a very simple, typical uh, e-commerce website where you have some products that are listed on the website which any user can go in browse over if they like it they buy it and once they buy it the order gets shipped or the product gets delivered to that particular user that is the current business scenario you have now what would happen if your system design is not up to the mark and not up to the correct requirements let's say you build the business functionality as expected in this big rectangle where you are you have your items catalog uh, where you also have some database where you are maintaining all the transactions and where you have some payment system and some delivery system so if the user likes it they make the payment if the payment goes through you do the delivery and delivery gets delivered to the user uh, let's say that this is currently your user now this system is working as expected of course it's fulfilling the business role but why it is not the best thing because let's say that suddenly december 26 comes in and uh, you see a sudden boom in the number of users now your system the moment the number of users increases the ser these servers they are not scalable or they are not able to deal with the number of users so what would happen is that let's say 50 percent or 60 percent of the users they are waiting for long for their orders to get completed or to or to even simply have access to your application that is a bad user experience what what these users would do they would make sure not to use your service ever again and what would that result into negative money generated or the loss of potential revenue that could be huge for any um, e-commerce company let's take a different scenario suppose rather than this being like an amazon like service let's say the service that you have built currently only deals with the masks the n95 masks or uh, something like that now if you are only dealing with N95 mask and the currently the year is 2019, your system is probably not doing much of the user base or they are not dealing with a lot of people. But suddenly COVID-19 hits and what would happen is that uh, your application is now on par with some of the best working ap applications and everyone wants to access your N95 masks. Let's say that inventory is not an issue. You already have a lot of N95 masks but you are not able to cope up in terms of number of user size and also at the same time the government walks in and government says that hey i want to access your system i want to get all of these n95 masks but at the same time i also want to make sure that any single user who is logging into your system their data is completely protected and all of their transactions they are impeccable in the in the security what you are going to do you would be like i am doomed because i did not consider these things they were not already introduced and now i am stuck uh, another scenario again for your same website rather than just one government coming in let's say the government of russia or the government of india or the government of indonesia also starts contacting you and your currently servers are only sitting in the usa so what would happen with all of the, those eastern countries well they would face significant lags to coming into your system why because this is located in the us and they are located on the other side of globe so all of these things combined they are going to have a cascading effect on your system where you are going to lose revenue potentially you are going to use uh, lose the the users and it can impact significantly on the company or product hence you know that the impact of system design choices are huge and that is why it matters so much now let's talk about the impact a little bit more with some examples now believe it or not originally if you see youtube was actually designed to be a dating website 
yes that's true go on google and search it out youtube was originally intended to be a dating website where people can upload their videos and then uh, maybe the potential matches would like their videos and uh, they can have some connections but their business model completely got transformed and now youtube is completely different that we already know of now could they have changed their entire business model off from the dating website to what the youtube has become today if they have if they had stuck to their own system design no they completely transformed the entire ecosystem of youtube that eventually we would see when we come to the stage of where we are designing the youtube we are going to talk about all of these things but you can this is what you can imagine that they already had a system and it the business rules or priorities change so they had to completely redefine what their system does and how it look li looks like and also without impacting the millions or billions of users who are consuming youtube every single moment also one more thing that we can consider is that what how can we deal with the maintenance and growth aspect why maintenance and growth aspect well many of you must be familiar with the chat gpt initially when chat gpt launched in uh basically in the entire globe everyone was just going crazy because it was such an amazing fi uh, search and everyone wanted to try it out everyone wanted to use it what happened immediately was that their servers were started crashing completely and every time anyone was trying to access the system they would be lucky if they ask five questions be before their server sessions run runs out and they are not able to compute why it happened i'm not saying that the chat gpt ecosystem was bad it was one of the wonderful designed system but they were not expecting these many number of people to be used using it in the small amount of manner so hence the maintenance maintenance and growth aspect is also very critical and the maintenance and growth aspect can be controlled using system design that if your system design is robust enough and it's capable enough it should be able to accommodate all of that added now added pressure and added load and why because right now if you go to chat gpt website you won't find any issues what they simply did is they changed their architecture they changed the way the calls are coming in uh, how they are routed how the number of servers are being associated and now everyone is probably ge getting the sufficient response even with the added traffic so these decisions are quite easy to maintain uh, one of the best examples on how the change and the growth actually makes or break companies you need to understand very uh, good business scenario between blockbuster and netflix uh, why i'm talking about blockbuster versus netflix is because uh, both deals with the uh, movies that we watch today now most of the young generations they were they aren't even uh, sure that what blockbuster is but go ask your father ask your mom or anyone and then you will realize that they used to rule the market once when people you would go out to the store and rent out the movies and come home and watch movies but netflix came along with a new business idea and then they completely transformed the entire ott market even when originally netflix started they had one big huge monolith application that had all the logic that uh, basically provided you with all the data and all of their movies were stored and on their local servers or their on premises over the subsequent years netflix has changed or completely transformed their system to adopt to a more distributed and more modern sophisticated architecture where they are using heavily aws where they are do using a lot of like content uh, design network and also a lot of caching and a lot of like uh, publishing movies before and load balancing in between so don't worry about these fancy terms you would understand it but i'm just saying that their system design upgrade made them the billion dollar company it is today uh, meanwhile blockbuster they had to declare bankruptcy and now it is nowhere to be seen despite being one of the most popular companies and profitable companies in the 90s or early 2000s so all in all that's why i want i'm putting so much emphasis on why system design matters because the decisions that are being taken in in correlation with the requirements that are given that defines that how the teams are going to behave uh for the for that those particular systems and how they are going to either make or break that product so i hope my explanation makes sense and in the next video we are going to talk about the key concepts of system design